Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Door in the Woods. Um, this is a, a an unusual one. I, I, <laughs> I believe it's a traditional roguelike, but I've said that before and been wrong, but I, I think it is. This has been recommended uh, to me multiple times, namely by one person. You know who you are. Thank you very much. I have been meaning to get to this one um, because it does look very interesting. Um, it might be a horror game, and so therefore I'm going to go ahead and throw a content warning on here. Um, but yeah, this should this should be interesting. Let me just have a quick look at the settings just to make... Okay, there's... All right, just, just wanted to make sure, like, you know, sometimes, like, uh, there's photosensitivity uh, options. Select scenario. Door in the woods. Awaken in a town, collapsing under the weight of a mysterious threat. Fight, die, take hold of the terrible truth. We can start as a detective. Starts with a revolver and a single bullet. A librarian? Traits, blurry vision, bookworm. Alcoholism as the writer. I mean, that's that makes sense, I guess. A uh, veteran is shell-shocked. It's loaded with rifle and a combat knife. Madman. Let's try the detective. I'm pretty sure that's like the um, intended playstyle. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Um, this might be slightly similar to games like, uh, I'm gonna forget the name of it now, uh, Darkwood, The Darkwood, um, which was a very creepy game. I meant to play more of it, but, you know, things, they, they kind of go and, uh, come and go in, in very fast succession on my channel. But, uh, this one, this one looked really interesting. It's like, uh, kind of like a traditional roguelike if it had graphics. Or, um, you know, maybe more similarly, a horror game if it didn't have graphics. So, first things first, uh, we don't have WASD. We are, in fact, using uh, WASDA. There is no escape from this. That's funny. I was going to try and uh, set the uh, options. Try and uh, figure out how to, how to do stuff. But, no, that's fine. We can... We can uh, we can go ahead and just kind of struggle through this. What What is this? I'm wet. Okay, so that's swamp. Got an interesting... Um, oh, is that a zombie? That is a zombie. I, d I do appreciate um, using our... Uh, we've got a very... Um, I don't know, like... Focus style here. We're going with the ASCII graphics, but then when you hover over it, it gives you like the full name of it. That's kind of cool. Um, what do some of these other buttons do? I wonder if F fires read all of the pages are torn out except for the last one okay let's read it if you're reading this then your eyes are still your own your heart still beats and your brain still ticks you're alive and that makes uh that means you're in danger <laughs> cast this book aside let nothing touch you lock yourself in a room and kill yourself. Jesus. A painless death won't work, so use fire. Let your body burn, let nothing recognizable of yourself remain here. There are things in this world that will twist the truth of you. They will take your past and your future and leave you as a contradiction. A living lie. I came to this town to discover the truth, but I found nothing. I thought there was only one page left. <laughs> and it is found, and, and it found me. Uh, we have a, a couple of meters worth mentioning here. We, first of all, we're wet and unsettled. There are things out there that defy logic by their mere existence. Your sanity fades slowly. While moving, it's harder to aim and you, you regenerate less stamina. We have a health meter, we have a stamina meter. Um, I wonder if, it, is this a wall? We can use the mouse button to move. I don't think I would want to do that. Uh, we are passing minutes of the day just by moving. We have a dodge meter. Our sanity meter is the one to keep an eye on, as I understand it. I assume we can't move through here, yeah. We're still wet. At least we're not still unsettled. Ah, uh, we are unsettled now because there's a zombie. I don't really want to mess with that zombie. What is this on the ground? A stone. Can be used as a weapon, but it really it's really unwieldy and has a tendency to get lost when thrown. 
Um, sure. Let's equip the stone. Uh, I'm going to do my best to stay away from the zombie. We have lost a little bit of our, um, of our meter. There's a door here. Sturdy wooden door. Open it. It's locked. Force open. Uh, that did make some noise. As is expected in a game like this. Chemicals. Volatile chemicals. Mixing them up can produce an obscuring cloud of uh, choking flammable gas. Or I've seen that meant to be uh, choking. I don't know what we are on. What are we standing on exactly? Furniture. Some good stuff in here. Blank paper. Write down your experiences to reflect on them and grow. Perhaps someone else might find this later and learn from your mistakes. Um, there's some options here. I don't know. Uh, strength? I don't have enough experiences. Oh, I see. Is this maybe how we get, uh, how we level up? We need blank paper to kind of level up. Oh God, there's some, there's some zombies in there. There was something else in there too. I want to see what that is. Oh, cat. Wooden board. Fla fragmentation grenade. Well, let's take some risks. Um, throw. I need to equip it first. Okay, let's pick it up. Um, we only have one bullet and we're too close to the zombie. I would like to get to this wooden board here, maybe. Piece of a wooden structure taken out of its usual context. Add nails. Barricade door equip. I'm assuming, um, you know, flockle. That I'm sure, I think, is that the zombie talking? Um, we are unsettled right now. We could back up and also close this door. Uh, oh, close it. It's already closed. Okay. I'm assuming zombies don't know how to... Oh, apparently that zombie knows how to open doors. It's a very smart zombie. Okay, let's, um, let's back up. I don't really want to get into combat until I know what I'm getting into. Like, if, and until I have, you know, means. Um, our sanity has taken quite the blows. Unsettled. Uh, I think we can see a zombie somewhere. I'm not sure where. Oh, to the, to the northwest. Picking up some, some firewood. Wood. I'm assuming, um, cold is a thing we have to worry about at some point. I'm curious about those red red marks. We're hungry. Yeah, I mean that was gonna happen. Okay, so we are. This is like a survival game. I wonder if that red is like blood. Nothing here. Uh, I don't see a way. Furniture. There might be something useful inside. Push. Uh. Push again. Yeah, there's a zombie there. I, I I had a funny feeling that I was doing something unwise. Our stamina is also taking the hit. Because we, we pushed that furniture a couple times. I'm going to put some walls between us and that zombie. And hopefully um, they will we'll lose track of them and we can double back and have a look inside that building because there might be some good stuff in there there is still something there unfortunately i'm thirsty need to get something to drink soon what is that cannibal they threw something at me oh we're bleeding our health has taken quite the blow um all right shoot um equip Shoot. 75% chance. We killed them. That was it. That was our only shot. What is this? We got... There's all kinds of things on the ground. Human corpse, clothes, a rifle. Um, okay. Well, we're bleeding right now. Uh, I'm not sure what we can do about that. I don't think there's any bandages on the ground. Um, hunting rifle with scope best used at long distances. We'll pick that up. Clothes. I wonder if we can turn some of these clothes into bandages. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I've, I've got some CDDA 
still left to me. Motorcycle helmet. That might be good. Tin can. Not good for anything, but it will make some noise if thrown. Okay. Oh. Blood to death. They survive zero. Experiences one. If you die with your sanity completely gone, you will lose all of your experiences. Okay. Let's try that again. I'm not going to change anything. All right, here we are again. I'm not sure uh, what I should be prioritizing. I, I do like um, I do like games where I'm I'm kind of left to my own devices and uh, left to kind of figure things out myself. As long as I'm not having to figure out UI things, I do wish I had looked at the options before I, I tried again. That would have been smart, wouldn't it? Um, stone. Okay, let's uh, let's pick up the stone. Uh, I do like the uh, the app uh, the vibe of this game. It does actually kind of remind me of um, Darkwood, just a little bit, not not too much. Uh, Darkwood was a bit it was a real time game for one thing, so it wasn't as much of um, it wasn't so you know traditional. We can go through these bushes apparently. We can go through the wood. Mm, we can go through some of the wood. Sometimes we can go through the wood, and other times we can't. If it's just like bushes, then we can we can go through it. Okay, I'm learning things right now. So some of these uh, some of these woods we can we can kind of shuffle through. I could have followed the road and maybe uh, checked out the town again, but I wanna I wanna learn things other than how to die efficiently. Um, like for one thing, how do how does one find fresh water? Oh, there's some stuff on the ground. Firewood. Add to bonfire. We can make a bonfire. Firewood. Pick that up. We've got a wall. I'm assuming this is a, a, a town. And we can get sneak through one of the walls. The, the wall is low enough. That's an interesting um, little little thing we've got going on with the graphics. Is th there's actually ways to kind of tell which walls are passable and which ones are not. Like, these are not passable, apparently. I thought they would be. I guess these are kind of like windows. Uh, I want to get into this complex. I'm not sure even what kind of complex it is. There's a zombie. We don't want to mess with that. We also can hear something in here. I'm thirsty. I don't know how to deal with that. I'm trying my best, um, but I'm not sure. Okay, we have some, we have a door. Force open. Expired dog food, sure. It was barely edible when it was fresh. Now, not even a dog would touch this. Eating this would be, it, eating this is going to be a traumatic experience. More expired dog food, sure. We'll pick that up as well. Uh, rag piece of someone's clothing use it to hastily stop bleeding or prepare bandages for later can we make bandages ah that takes time okay so we don't necessarily want to do that what do we have here furniture i don't want to go down there there's something in there in fact we don't probably we don't want to go in some of these buildings either uh, i'm not sure Okay, we have something there. And there's also, I imagine that's a lot of blood on the ground. Chemicals again. Metal pipe. That could be good. You can put a round inside and hope it doesn't explode in your face unless this is what you actually want. Um, okay. Make gun or make bomb or equip. I have to assume it's not a bad uh, melee weapon. There's another cannibal in there. Uh, I do not want to deal with a cannibal. 
furniture. Let's go ahead and move, push that. Oh, should not have done that. Okay, furniture. Pull. We're, we're good for the cannibal. I'm hungry. I don't know why things are going kind of sepia-toned. Things are going a little bit sepia. Hungry and thirsty. You feel invigorated while your body prepares to devour itself. Um, you need to, you need something. Yeah, I'm parched. Okay, dehydrated. I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to be doing about that. I don't know. We could, maybe we could drink some swamp water. That sounds like a good idea. Firewood. I'm just picking up whatever I can. Uh, something happened over there. Can we, like, break through this one? Is this, like, a window or something? Uh, door. Force open? Yeah, sure. Alcohol. Very strong alcohol. Drink it to calm down your mind or settle your stomach. So there's a dead body on the ground. Sawed off shotgun. No rounds in it. Can't carry, carry anything more. Okay, well, why don't we drop um, one of these firewoods then? Okay, there's not much going on in here. Um, I mean, we're gonna die if I don't find some water. I, I can, uh, I don't know. I'll try and find some swamp. The swamp was so far the closest thing to water I found. Um, doesn't really solve our, like, hunger problems. I noticed we were hidden there. So if we're in the bush, we're hidden. I'm starving. Okay, swamp. Yeah, drink. Whatever is in this murky water, it's not going to be good for your health. You can fill an empty bottle here. I don't have an empty bottle. But we are going to drink this. Our sanity is not good right now. So um, why don't we also drink some alcohol? Our stamina is raising, but our sanity is not really. We are also starving. Time to eat some expired dog food. Not good for one sanity. That was a traumatic experience. Traumatized. You survived and now have to live with that. What you experienced. Um, our sanity is now at zero. We got another stone. I don't know what we're going to do with those. More firewood. We don't need firewood. Um, let's try... I'm gonna I'm gonna close this door. We're gonna make a little fire a bonfire. Maybe that'll help our sanity It's already closed. Okay um, I'm gonna pull this furniture over And hopefully that'll block the door wooden board kitchen knife that sounds like a good thing to grab We're dehydrated again Anything good here? There is, in fact, another door. We don't really want to... I, I, I want to... Can we lock that? Unlock. Open. Okay, we're just gonna... We're gonna make a, a bonfire here. Make bonfire. I can't do it, it here. Why not? Why not? Make bonfire. Why? Make torch? I need a rag. Uh, I guess I needed that rag for more things than just making bandages. Oh, that is a... Uh, oh, God, what is that? Horror! Um, it is time to equip gun. Equip. Shoot. Miss. Um... Okay, what, what, what would one even use? Kitchen knife. Equip kitchen knife. Um, I don't know. I think we're attacking it. Nope. 
mauled by horror they survived one experience zero if you die with your sanity completely gone you will lose all of your experiences well so far i have no idea what i'm doing awaken in a town collapsing under the weight of its mysterious threat fight die take hold of the terrible truth um experiences zero apparently what is this lone wolf you are alone venture out into a sea of trees where wolves haunt the depths hear their howls hear their growls hear their thoughts survive at all costs your wife is sick keep her alive hear her feverish whispers survive without a care in a dead world there's these this is the, quite possibly the darkest traditional roguelike i've ever played Again, I forgot to look at the options. Oh God. I've never played a game um, as like unforgiving as this in a way. We actually started in a town this time. Ooh, a match. Ignite it to push back the darkness for a moment, but be careful not to drop it. Yeah, I've never played a traditional roguelike as dark as this or a game as unforgiving as this like um, You do start with nothing in this game literally nothing um, I, I don't have I, you know, I, I don't really have a weapon. I have a I have a revolver with one shot That's like pretty brutal I'm really not sure a base damage 10 strength multiplier 1.5 not sure um, what to make of some of these items I'm finding on the ground. There's some blood. I'm sure that that means yeah. There's some, there's a zombie. We don't want to disturb that zombie. I'm pretty sure this is the kind of game where um, you really don't want to engage in combat if you can avoid it. Like it seems to me uh, that stealth is what we want pretty much at all times. Um, unsettled. Doors open. There's another zombie. Kitchen knife. Pick up the kitchen knife. I uh, kind of want to just like see even like I'm going to try engaging it with a kitchen knife just to see what um, how, how bad is combat in terms of like. Oh, there's something to our north. Uh, we took a hit. We took another hit. We took another hit. We killed them. Undead corpse. The king remains of an undead creature. Carrying it around can mask your presence from others like it like it who still walk on their own. Can we equip this? We have equipped it. We are bleeding. Um, I need to find some rags. Brick, undead corpse, I'm exhausted. This also drains our uh, stamina like crazy. There's some 9mm ammo. I don't think that that's what we need for our 44 revolver. Brick. What is that? Mannequin. Clothes. Let's pick up the clothes. Can't tear into rags. Here we go. Make bandages. It's not safe here. Yeah, no kidding. Um, stop bleeding. I, I don't we're still bleeding Moldy bread, um, let's pick that up. I I Think uh, we're no longer masked So um, masking yourself as a uh, as a zombie is very um, temporary Fragment of a hastily scribbled note on a piece of torn paper You will need to find more of these to figure out what it actually says Okay Assemble. I don't have enough pieces. Okay. Well, I mean, interesting things are happening here. Um, oh, good. There's a suicide button. Oh, goody, good, good, good. I don't... I don't know. I just don't know. Can we throw this? We can throw this kitchen knife. I need to equip it first. Let's pick this up. 
and throw it at the zombie. We did hit them. I'm exhausted. Yeah, well, you're just going to have to deal with that right now. Because we're, we're not in a good way. Equip this kitchen knife and throw it at the zombie. I'm too exhausted. Quick, eat the moldy bread. Yummy. Traumatized. Okay, good. That, that mannequin moved, did it not? Did that mannequin not move? 42% chance. 56% chance. We did hit it. I'm, I'm exhausted. I swear that mannequin moved. Note fragment. Pick that up. Clothes. I'm thirsty. You just have to deal with that. Tear into rags. Okay, we have some rags. Oh god, there's another zombie. Was this clothes? Tear into rags. We're going to play Ring Around the Rosie here a little bit. Flop. That's what they just said. Uh, odd fruit. Lumpy fruit of unknown origin. It might save you from starving, but no matter how many of them you eat, you always feel hungry. So to drink, that's actually pretty good. Uh, dodge. What was that? Mimic. What do you mean, mimic? Uh, we are now bleeding. No, unsatiated, thirsty, unsettled, traumatized, exhausted. We're taking major damage. This mimic. Wow. All right. So we don't. This is not just a zombie uh, world. This is in fact a uh, a dark fantasy world. We got four experience, but I'm not sure what that even means. Let's have a look at these settings. Previous item, next item, activate item, pick up item, drop item. Oh, space is weight. Okay, that's that's possibly the best thing I could have discovered here. We got four experiences. I, I don't I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this information. I'm wondering if um, if we had paper and we had gotten experiences maybe we can like write it down and i'm wondering if the world is actually not procedurally generated if it's like consistent and then you can go and find your experiences like i'm pretty sure i've seen this road before i'm pretty sure i've seen that swamp before so maybe if i like move oh god vampire well i i, I yeah let's um let's equip this gun and shoot the vampire miss well that's that i don't know if we can i can hear you breathe well i mean that's cool dude well cool the the vampire just like knew straight up where i was oh there there's another vampire Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, I, I don't know about this game. <laughs> I am, uh, okay. Yeah. Blood to death. Experience is six. Wow. Ah. If you die with your sanity completely gone, you will lose all your, all of your experiences. What do we do with, with experiences? If I knew that, um, I might have a better idea of like what I'm supposed to do here. Like, what am I supposed to prioritize? Okay, we have spawned in the town again. There's uh, something there. There's a bunch of zombies. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm in this uh, precarious situation of not like I, I, 
I'm very clearly ill-equipped, um, like both um, functionally. Write down your experiences to reflect on them and grow. Perhaps someone else might find this later and learn from your mistakes. We have six experiences. Apparently the experiences follow over. You gain experiences by surviving if you die with your sanity completely gone. Okay, yeah, I know that part. Um, can we learn agility? I don't have enough experiences. How much experiences do I need? Oh, that's a cannibal. We're gonna close that door. I, I don't like that the cannibal can just open the door. They're they're catching up with me and I'm bleeding and um, Can we what can we do with this blank paper? I don't know equip it. I've equipped the paper I I don't think I like this game <laughs> I I don't think I like this game um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing like, I don't mind not, you know, not being directed in a game, but, like, there should be some conveyance. I am very much um, meant to kind of cobble together, uh, uh, you know, a very loose sense of survival. But um, the game has, like, th nothing has been done for the sake of, um, you know, a cons providing a consistent um, experience. You know what I mean? Like, I, I I feel like I can I can definitely say objectively that maybe this is not procedural. I, I still don't know. I have to assume that maybe it's not procedural. I, I do see that we are accumulating our experiences. So maybe I'm meant to, to be spawn in, um, accumulate as many experiences as I, as I can without dying or without losing our sanity. Um, and then as soon as I, you know, and then I, hopefully I die with enough sanity that we keep our experiences and then maybe in the future run, we can, um, actually grow, but I don't think I like that. I mean, that's almost the extreme version of meta progression <laughs> because here's the thing. What happens when I get, when I level up, do I lose my experiences? Like, do they get consumed? By leveling up this is something that concerns me because uh if for instance i died after leveling up then do i have to start this process over of like trying to cobble together some experiences i'm really not sure what the the gameplay loop is here is the thing i'm i'm a little bit concerned about okay well i'm gonna continue for now motorcycle helmet let's equip that we got a motorcycle helmet. Tin can. Maybe we can use that to distract a zombie. I haven't really done that yet. I swear to God, I have been here before. Let's push this side. We got another tin can. This is this is what? Smash. We can fa smash the furniture. What does this do? I'm exhausted. So, I mean, I, I feel like there's a little bit of carryover between this and um, uh, uh, CDDA, just a little bit. Add nails. I need metal scrap for that. Well, what kind of furniture do we have here? Can we... I need to rest. So, hitting space um, does rest. Let's smash this furniture. If we could get some okay so that gave us for firewood so confirmed you do get different things um based on furniture i feel like maybe there's a make a grenade out of the tin can i need chemicals oh okay that's what those chemicals have been for okay i'm learning things i'm learning things furniture um smash smash we're gonna catch our breath um Smash, smash, smash. We're getting firewood. I need um, metal scraps. Odd fruit. We'll pick that up. Something fell out. Oh, a match. A 
I'm exhausted. Stationary, we'll we'll get our health back. Firewood. I'm I'm looking for metal scraps. I'm not really getting the metal scraps. Rotten potatoes. Where where is that? Where did I see rotten potatoes? Oh, we, we picked them up. Bunch of lumpy rotten potatoes. Eating them is going to be a traumatic experience. Well, that's not great. Um, okay, let's smash this furniture. This will be the last time I do this. I, I, I'm not getting the metal scraps I need. So I don't think that that is uh, actually helpful right now. So what is that? Expired dog food. Love it. I'm parched. Let's see if we can't find some swamp water to drink. Um, yeah, we don't have, we don't have the, the pop. We had the pop or, uh, you know, we had the, the drank in the last run. Our experiences are now eight, so that's not bad. Our stamina is low. There's a swamp. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Dehydrated wet. Okay, we're going to drink some swamp water. I'm infected. Parasitosis. Parasitosis. You feel something moving inside and it's hungry. Your wounds heal faster, but the thing grows larger the better you feel. Fire might be the only way to get it out. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's make a fire. Let's make a bonfire. Minutes. Moving. Okay. Uh, is it, is it working? Bonfire. Um, Kindle. Can we place of brief respite? I don't think, um, don't think we're able to do what, what I wanted to do here. Um, maybe if I could go get some more, like, wood. There's some, there's a ton of wood over here. Hold on. There's firewood. Pick up. Uh, I'm going to make a torch. Really? The time it took me to go over there and come back, it went out. There is no fuel. Uh, I do think that there's a difference between making a game punishing and just making it outright, like, ridiculously unfair for the sake of unfair. Let's make a torch. Um, light. I need to hold it. Okay, equip it. Light it. All right, we're, we've lit it. Um, now, how does one burn? Fire might be the only way to get it out. I don't know how to do that. I'm trying to do that, but, um, it might be that that, what it really means is set yourself on fire. Because it seems to be that, that this is that kind of game. Um, alright, well, we're just gonna go ahead and live with a parasite inside of us. We're still, oh, we are hydrated. So there is that. Um, I don't know, we'll eat some rotten potatoes. That'll, that'll be traumatizing. It's broken. Oh uh, yeah, our torch. So our, our sanity took a, took a, a a blow there. You are slowly losing sanity. Find shelter or start a fire to push away the darkness. Well, I mean, I, I unfortunately ruined our um, campfire, so that's not going to work. Um. As long as we don't end the game with zero sanity, we have the revolver. And yes, this is an option. Um, so, you know, uh, if, if our sanity <clears throat> is looking really bad, then we have an option. Oh, there's a zombie. Um, let's go ahead and equip this wooden board. We're taking blows here. This wooden board is not okay. I'm hungry. Yeah, well, we've all got problems, don't we? What is that? I'm exhausted. I think we killed one of the uh, zombies. A zombie seems to be stationary right now. Undead corpse. Dodge. 
I'm exhausted. Yeah, and our, uh, our health has gone blood to death. Okay. Okay. Experience is 16. Well, we did get some more experiences. We have, we have tons of experiences now. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Um, I, you know, if I can level up even once, uh, I will uh, have considered this a, a win. Uh, I definitely have reservations about this game. It's definitely one of these games that have been made like so punishing that it's, you know, like I, I would not necessarily consider that a, a plus. Like some people will definitely get something out of this. Um, I think there is definitely um, a call for games to be super punishing and not really offer much for the player in terms of like, um, you know, we're not we're not making a consistent uh, experience. We're making a game that is like that doesn't care about the the player, and um, I know that some people like that. I'm not really one of them. I I like challenging games. Um, challenging games are fine, but that's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like punishing for the sake of punishing. Like we want to make a world, um, so malicious that, uh, you know, like y y you could die without knowing even like what killed you. Um, blank paper. Okay. So we have blank paper. How much experience would you, would you say you need? Let's get some strength. Hey, we actually got strength. Okay, so 10 experience is what you need. And it did consume uh, that experience. So, um, curious as to what, what happens now. Metal pipe. Metal pipe on the ground. Can we scrap this? Make gun, equip. It doesn't look like we can, we, we can equip it. We can smash this furniture. I don't think that doesn't seem to be hurting the pipe, which is good. Firewood on the ground. Um, so we'll, we'll grab that. I mean, I have learned some things like, you know, uh, tr sometimes trial by fire can be interesting. Um, I, I have like kind of mixed feelings about it overall. Glass bottle. Empty glass bottle. Throwing this is a great way to grab everyone's attention. Can be used to store water. Oh, there's a zombie. Tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and kill the zombie. Because we have extra strength now. Extra strength Tylenol. I'm exhausted. This dude is worthless. Uh, it seems like if we kill, do enough damage to the zombie, they stop moving. Oh, now we're... Okay. Mauled by a zombie. This is definitely a game where, um... Yeah, avoiding combat is what you want to do. And it looks like we did lose our experiences. So once you've consumed the experience, um... To gain strength or agility or something, it seems to be gone. Um... That might be the final nail in the coffin for me. Um, on this on this one. I think that there are other games that kind of do this kind of thing better um, I am not saying that this game isn't worth playing. I'm saying that I would Personally speaking, I'd probably want to play something else um, Yeah, we don't gain the strength either. I just think that that uh, you know, like that, that that kind of takes the players time for granted a little bit you really, you, if you want to like, um, ad advanced or progress in this game, you, you've got to basically like grind up a few plays or you, you just go and grind up some experience and then, uh, you know, so you're just like throwing yourself on the fire pit, um, throwing yourself in front of zombies, gaining as much experience as possible. And then on one playthrough, you could potentially like, um, like, yeah, this is the playthrough that I care about. This is the one I'm going to try and uh, actually, like, beat the, you know, find the door or whatever the story is. And so I'm going to put all of my, you know, put all my levels. Is that a dog? That is a dog. Hello, dog. Are you a friend, dog? 
They're running away, so in a way, I think that they are a friendly dog. But yeah, you could just like, you know, decide, okay, this is the game that matters, and so I'm gonna like spend all of my experience points. I, I think that the fact that you consume experience points, excuse me, the dog is fighting me now. Okay. All right. Well, that was Door in the Woods. Um, this one's not for me. Uh, it's not for me. I, uh, I don't, I'm not going to say it's a, it's a bad game. It's just not for me. I, I don't really like punishing for the sake of punishing. And, um, I don't like that, uh, you consume experience. I think that, that, that just kind of leads to tedious, um, just tedium, like just kind of grinding the game in order to get, get more experience. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure what's, what will happen here is I'll find out that, well, uh, experience and leveling up is actually not important in this game. And, and in fact, you can, you can probably progress without getting those things. Um, well then just like, don't have them. I don't know. I just think that that's just kind of a waste of time. Like why, why have something like that and then make it so that it's just like almost unattainable. And if you spend it, it's gone forever. Um, I, I, I like, I, I actually think that there's like, you know, uh, most of the souls games are not even as punishing as this. Um, I think if you're looking for an experience like this, although it isn't a traditional roguelike, I think that Darkwood kind of does something like this a little bit better in cer certain ways. Um, and I think that there are other games that I would probably pick over this that are like, they still have that dark um, vibe and they still are trying to make very serious kind of survival games um have a survival experience without this like ridiculous survival like honestly even cdda like cdda is very uh it's a very high learning curve but once you do kind of learn it it has this very similar vibe of of you know surviving in the woods and uh trying to uh kind of you have a very insurmountable uh wall of like trying to um, you know, being pitted up against a, a very malicious, very unforgiving world. Um, but at the same time, it still offers the player tools for survival and it still gives you something to, to try and like pit yourself up against it properly. Um, you're probably still going to die and, and it's a very, very unforgiving world, but it still gives the player something. I, I like, I guess what really drives me away from this one is the fact that it does have that meta progression is kind of the final death nail like if you're gonna have this meta you know this this uh unforgiving world you have to offer the player something um you have to give them something some kind of tool some kind of way of of you know navigating um you have to you have to give them something and, and it almost has something like with you know being able to smash furniture and maybe make a weapon and having some things to like you know kind of uh lead zombies or uh, away from you um lead vampires away from you maybe i don't know um but then it just also has every trope that i don't like like needing to keep yourself fed and so therefore you have to find food and you're just playing against you know you're just rolling the dice hoping that you find some food and almost every time i found food it was un inedible so then it drains your sanity and it just feels like everything in this game is malicious. And I don't really want to play a game like that. So those are kind of my thoughts on the game. Uh, you know, to the person who recommended this, don't let this, uh, you know, I, 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 no criticism towards you at all. Um, and, uh, you know, feel free to continue recommending games. I, I, I am happy to play whatever people think that I would enjoy and uh, just allow me the, the space to kind of, you know, speak my mind when it comes to a game that isn't actually for me. Um, it comes up rarely, uh, but I, I definitely at some, at some points, uh, I, I feel like a game just overtly rubs me the wrong way. So anyway, Door in the Woods, what do you think about it? Maybe I did everything wrong and there's actually everything uh, that I talked about in this game to make it a more pleasant experience or make it um, a less punishing experience. And maybe you just know exactly what I should have done. Um, and if you want to let me know, maybe I could come back and try it again. 
uh, I'm I'm open to that, and I want to uh, I want to give this game a, a fair chance if if that is the case. But um, if not, then maybe uh, I'm just not into super punishing games, and that is totally fair and also super subjective. And you know, therefore, I, I'm not I'm not the one to cover this game. So either way, let me know. And uh, if you enjoyed this, either way, uh, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.